All right, AJ, uh, clean sheet. Uh, I believe your fourth clean sheet in a row. Just talk about your overall play this year. Um, obviously, you got those three, and then you had a little injury layoff, but now you're back again, clean sheet right off the bat. Just talk about your play as a whole. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing really well right now. Um, a lot of it is from our coaching and everything, and also from our back line. Like, yeah, there's situations where I need to come up big, but there's not too many, and that's what – basically i have to do is come up big when it matters and it's been good right now yeah and then um i mean at the end of the game you had to make an incredible save just to just to keep it keep it you, you guys in the lead just talk about like those type of players with, with your reflexes and just being able to make spectacular saves like that yeah well uh, if you remember the play started off with uh my punt that went about 100 yards in the air and it wasn't a good punt to begin with and then i had to make up for it but i mean at the end of the day, it's really, it's really not much than like just being calm and being in the right spot. Like let the ball hit you, and then basically what happens, and then recover. And I was thankful for Juan to be recovering the way he did and get that second ball, and then I punched it out. But if he wasn't there, they're scoring and making it one-one. You you give praise to your back line. Just talk about how how maybe a challenge it is to play with a bunch of different uh, changing in parts each week is that is that a difficulty for you but yeah it's 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 hard more of the aspect of it's not the players it's more of the language barrier with the guys like um I'm trying to learn a little bit of Spanish I know I sound like an American person (laughs) when I speak Spanish I understand but they get they understand it and I think it's just give and take almost for both of us it's like um he needs to learn some English, and then I need to learn some Spanish, all of them. But we've been doing well. There's nothing else. No? Uh, so how is it with having someone like Alan back up to you, giving you that competition at the mere age of just 16, you know? What, what does that do for you mentally-wise? Or just like, does that harp on you on what you do in the game, or does that really change how you play, or is it just same old, same old? No, nah, I think um, it starts, honestly, with Carlos. Um, with the first team, he's a great mentor for me and then same thing with Ryan and then I I try to be the same with Alan and Aiden both of them and it's really and Will as well and it's just really good I mean the better as a unit you are the better um, you're going to be at the end of the day I dealt with that back in high school when I played with Matt Freeze like it's it really sucked being with him but it also was a great like he's one of my best friends and we push each other all the time and it makes you better it honestly does um just you were talking about your common cool and that do you you take that from any any goalies that you watch on on TV from any, any teams across the across the pond. Like, do you, do you look up to anybody like that? Yeah, I I, I really like Ter Stegen um, a lot um, with his passing, every, almost everything. And then Nor the Germans really are. I like watching them. And then now lately, my I really like Ramsdale mm-hmm. a lot, and he's calm under pressure and everything. So you said Ter Stegen. Did you did you get to meet him last year when yeah, it was awesome. Just it was, talk about that experience as as a whole. I mean, it was it was a quick ten second like, hey, how are you? Like, good to meet you and all this stuff. But it was really a surreal experience, and I was happy to be part of it last year.